If you are struggling to fully embrace your North Node or you feel like you're not in your full North Node alignment, did you know that there's a specific mantra that you can use based off of your North Node placement to get into alignment? back to the channel. I'm Isabel, your spiritual rebel friend, and today I wanted to talk about how there are specific mantras for each zodiac sign that you can use to embody your North Node further. And I felt inspired to share this because as I shared in another video, I was scripting today and I noticed the phrase I have kept coming up. And as I was writing it, I realized that this is the mantra of Taurus, my North Node. So in this video, I wanted to cover more about what each of these mantras is and I'll probably have to reference my book at some points and add more clips because I don't remember them all off the top of my head but if you want to get access to all of them just in the link in the description below I have the simple guide to astrology zodiac signs in the astrology bundle so if you hit and get the astrology bundle you get access to my workbook where I share everything you need to know both technical and not so technical about each of the zodiac signs so that you can understand them fully including their mantras so that's in the link in the description below i'm not offering the astrology bundle for much longer so if you want this 15 dollars bundle get it now because i will be pulling it off very very soon to replace it with something very exciting that i cannot wait to share with you so grab it now so with the mantras I had to remember what I was talking about for a minute there. It's early and I need more coffee. Um, so really quick, let's talk about what the North Node is as a quick recap and why we may feel out of alignment and why these mantras I think specifically have helped me. So why is it we feel that sometimes we know exactly what our North Node is, but we don't feel like we're embodying it. So the North Node, which is a point on the moon's orbit, which has become a point in our chart, represents our highest path to growth in this lifetime. It is what's most uncomfortable for us to do, but by stepping into it, not only do we just grow, but we elevate our frequency, which makes us more rapid manifestors. And it also just helps us live in our purpose. The North Node is said to be in our purpose, not just because we're supposed to be our North Node, but by tapping into this area of life that is uncomfortable, we become complete. We embrace everything in our chart. So your North Node is in a sign and a house. The sign it's in shows you what energy you must learn to embrace, what archetype you, so to say, struggle to be the most, but must learn. But also the area of life you need to embrace it in is based off the house. So for me, I'm a Taurus North Node, which means I need to learn self-worth, persistence, stubbornness, grounding, know thyself truly, own thyself, uh, I am enough, grounding, and indulging in the physical reality. But that's in my fifth house of play, expression, and romance. And so the area of life where it's going to be hardest for me to do is when it comes to play. When it comes to having fun in the day-to-day -day life, when it comes to my romance, my dating. So I need to make sure I stay grounded in my dating life the most and when it comes to just enjoying my day. I can't tell you how often I catch for myself. I go, I shouldn't be enjoying my time right now. I need to have a greater purpose. So for me, that's how that plays out. But oftentimes we can struggle to embrace this energy because you can think of each zodiac sign like a honeycomb. And imagine you're trying to shine a flashlight through this honeycomb, so to say. And as you tap into different energies, such as maybe in my example, self-sufficiency, but maybe not self-worth, we, we let light through that one honeycomb. But that doesn't mean it's at full completion. And so if you feel like you're in your North Node and you're trying to embrace it, but you don't quite feel that sense of softening into, I am in my growth, I feel complete, I feel elevated in consciousness, it's probably just because you're missing an area of embodiment and the zodiac mantras are supposed to encompass the entirety of what that sign is about now one quick note is that of course if you just know these affirmations and don't understand the sign it'll probably be very hard these affirmations really help when you have a deep understanding of the zodiac sign and then want to simply implicate or apply couldn't remember the word there so for me i have a deep understanding of taurus 
but then to simply just say I have really just hits the nail on the head of what I need to embrace. In the end, it's about ownership, not only of having the things I want, but knowing that I'm enough. I have implies a sufficiency, an enoughness, a worthiness, and also an indulgence. I love to have, I have fun. I have a million dollars or $10,000. I have the million subscribers I want, which I talk about all in my video, which I'll pin up here if it's published at the time. Don't know how, when I'm gonna publish it on my journey towards making $10,000 to inspire you guys that you can have the things you want to without having to work harder, just attract. So if you're interested, you can check out that video. But based off of your North Node placement, you can use a different mantra. And I also can sometimes go a level deeper and do the associated sign for the house my North Node is in. So for me, it's Leo because it's in my fifth house. So with my North Node being in fifth house, the associated zodiac sign with the fifth house is Leo. And I can't remember off the top of my head what the affirmation for Leo is. I think it's like play or something. I know it has way more to do with fun, um, but that's a layer deeper. But I noticed for me, I have is just simply so important. So I frankly do not remember the mantras off my head, but I will show you here some of them and try to look at these and wonder if they do they what do they feel like in your body as you own them and if they don't feel like they resonate then maybe you do need to look into the zodiac sign more chances are i really do feel like each of these mantras really are in alignment uh with the zodiac sign but you have to have the deep understanding so if you want more of a deeper understanding book a reading in the link in the description below or get the astrology bundle where you can learn on your own all about these signs. Again, I am pulling this bundle off soon to be replaced with something much more exciting that I cannot wait to share with you guys, but I will not announce it fully until it is launched. So you can get that in the link in the description below. In the meantime, here are your mantras and look at those and decide what it feels like in your body and see if they help you elevate your frequency. Cause I know for me, writing out these, I have mantras, I have a million subscribers, I have a success, I have a sense of grounding, it really, really helps me. So let me know in the comments below what your mantra is and if it helps you. And while you're down there, be sure to book a reading if you wanna understand more about your North Node as well as the rest of your chart so you can live in your purpose, attain the things you want through manifestation and understand yourself more. That's in the link in the description below. I know this was a shorter video than I normally do, but I just wanted to share this one little quick tip. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you like these shorter videos, let me know and I'll be sure to mix them in with my 15 minute and 30 minute videos more. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sincerely hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos. Namaste.